Welcome to the Solid Oak Technologies Cover All Test Bench Template Demo. During this demo, I'll demonstrate how easy it is to create either a system Verilog template or an UVM template with Cover All. Cover All generated test bench templates are typically used to jumpstart the verification process or as input to a formal analysis tools. For this demo, I'm going to use an implementation of a SHA-2 hash function that's already been captured in Cover All. This screen shows the block diagram of a SHA-2 hash function. And on each side of the SHA-2 block, you can see I've placed an input UVM agent and an output UVM agent. And from this um, block diagram, I can actually create two different test bench templates. Templates, excuse me. Um, the first template being a pure system Verilog template. And in that case, each of these interfaces you see here, the input agent and the output agent, will be um, interfaces. Or I can create an actual UVM template um, from this uh, drawing. Um, in addition to what uh, other things that are in this drawing, you can see there are some, as I switch pages here, you can see I've got a timing diagram captured here. And then there are a number of structural logic diagrams that have been captured along with some structural RTL and um, assertion properties. Um, when we normally compile a design like this, you're going to get assertion sequences, um, FSMs. Uh, there's a couple of SF FSM diagrams in here. I'll show you one real quickly. Here is a hash state machine. So this, this does, di um, particular design has a number of different uh, diagram types in it. But for this particular demo, what we're going to focus on is the, is the test bench templates that come um, that Coverall can generate from these diagrams. So let's go ahead and bring Coverall up. And I'm going to run Coverall from the add-on menu here with, in uh, Microsoft Visio. And here you see, here's the Coverall um, main window. Um, and you notice here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use two output files here, um, the log file and the output directory. Um, both of those are pointed to um, a test slash SHA-2 um, directory on the C drive. And what I've told Coverall to do is to go ahead and generate all of the assertions for this design, as well as the RTL, a bind module, a test bench, and I'm going to turn on formal now so that we create um, formal scripts as well. Um, the RTL code I'm going to generate is System Verilog, as you can see here by the, the button that's clicked there. And then I'm also going to tell it to create a test bench tep template in System Verilog. And where, where it will place all of this data is shown from this little graphic right here in the middle of the screen. Assertions will go into the search directory. RTL will go into the RTL directory. Uh, verification files will go into the verif directory. And formal scripts will end up in the formal directory. So why don't we go ahead and take this particular design and go ahead and run it. So I'll click on the Run button. You can see Coverall is processing this diagram. Okay, we get this um, pop-up that comes up. It's asking us if we want to uh, overwrite the assertion files. And since I've run this once before in this directory, I'm going to go ahead and say yes and re recreate all those. And you can see Coverall is now processing each of the diagrams. Okay, and now that it's done generating the assertions, it's coming back and saying, do you want to overwrite the RTL test bench and formal files? And I'm going to go ahead and say yes to that as well. And so now you've seen up here in the uh, file area of the um, coverall GUI, it has um, created a number of files for us. Um, there's even more files that have been created. Um, these are the ones we have interest. This, uh, this particular... Um, text um, file is showing us all of the statistics from um, the assertions that were created. If you look here at the very bottom of the page, you can see that um, um, approximately 309 assertions were created in, and 182 path covers. Um, 
this shows you one of the assertion files for the LV underscore state um, page. Um, this is the RTL file that was created, so this is a complete RTL representation of the SHA-2 function. You can see it uh, consumes about uh, 1,257 lines of code. And then here's the test bench that was created, and this is what we are, are going to focus on for this demo. Um, once again, I created a uh, system Verilog test bench, and what Coverall does is it creates a very um, vanilla um, test bench for this particular um, for this particular option is is defined, and you can see the test bench. It includes a timescale.b. Um, this would be a file that. Uh, it, take a look at that in just a second, but this is a file that's going to describe the time scales for this particular design. Um, there's a parameter file that was included on one of the drawings, so that's included here. Here you see all the inputs and outputs, and those come directly from the page that I showed you at the beginning here in the I.O. It would be these I.O.s that are um, defined here on this page. And then you see it has declared the interfaces, uh, the SHA-2 serial in interface and the serial out interface once again. This is the serial in, this is the serial out interface. Um, as you go further down in the file, you see it's assigning um, the serial in to um, the actual uh, signal names that are inside the diagrams. So this is basically just a conversion function to, to get from the interfaces to the actual IOs inside of the, of the um, particular drawings here. And then it, it has defined um, the device under test. So it's instantiated um, the SHA-2 RTL here as um, U0. It's also instantiated a bind module, which I'll show you in just a second, here as um, BA underscore SHA-2, and that's instantiated as U1. And then it has a clock generator, based on the clocks that are in this design, and a reset initial block, which basically defines what clock is and the reset lines are for, for this particular design. And then here you see in, in the green characters here, it says this file is auto-generated by coverall. Do not modify above this line. Everything you see above this line, um, from uh, line one in this file all the way down to line 65, was auto-generated by coverall. The rest of this logic that you see below is logic that I've added to this test bench to actually run um, this particular test um, to test the uh, a robust test of the SHA-2 functionality. Um, I won't go into exactly what's in there. Um, but um, what you can see is what's been auto-generated by coverall is this um, first 65 lines of code. Um, in addition, as I mentioned, there's a bind file, a bind file that's created, and this bind file um, was generated so that um, the assertions that are created by this design um, won't be included in the RTL. So the RTL will be um, pristine RTL, and then we will add assertions to that for the test bench using this particular bind module. That by module, as you can see here, there were a um, little over 10 uh, assertion files created for this particular design. So that gives you kind of an idea of what a, uh, a simple uh, system Verilog test bench would look like. Um, normally, uh, what, what Coverall does is it will, it will copy, it will, it will um, generate all of the logic you see here, all of the text you see here between line 1 and line 60. Uh, five every time, and then whatever else it finds in the in, in the file with this same name um, below this line, it will actually uh, just reproduce that here at the bottom. So um, typically, and when you first run this tool, um, none of this uh, characters you see from line 66 on down will actually be here, uh, but it does keep whatever uh, information you put in in, in the file um, as it, as it regenerates the file each time. Uh, a quick note is is um, everything you see down to line 65 is sufficient for a formal run. Um, and you can see we generate some formal scripts here. And I can um, go out here to um, directory. And you can see um, I have created a couple files by hand here. Run sb.do and run uvm.do. Those are actually um, Metro Graphics uh, Questa do files um, in the event that I wanted to run this in the simulator. Um, this shows you the timescale.b file that was created. And you can see that it's a, a simple timescale, um, 1 nanosecond, 10 feet second um, command. You can go in and edit that and change that before you run simulation if you want. Um, 
Uh, the other thing to note is that here, I'll show you the rest of the files. Uh, under the RTL directory, you can see there's a number of files that have been created for this design. The interface file, the SHA-2 file, was created here, as well as the EA file for this particular design. Okay, um, let's take a look. As you can see here, I have the formal um, turned on, and what that will do is, in this case, it's going to create um, zero in formal files. So if we go back, we can go look in the formal directory, and you can see there's a number of uh, files here. Um, the, the test bench file that we saw previously plus these scripts is sufficient to go ahead and run uh, a, a zero in uh, session if, if you have that tool. So I'm going to open this real quick and you can see uh, this is basically just a script that will execute a zero in prove and a zero in confirm uh, run uh, with this particular design and it 